where's the, where's the sweet spot? Hi, I'm Barry. I'm a software engineer at US Airways. And I'm here because I believe we've reached a point in uh, software development where we have both the tools and methodologies needed to, um, to create software that, is, uh, that respects some of the fundamental principles of object-oriented development, and thus allowing us to, be, to create software that's simple and therefore easy to maintain, easy to extend, and has a lower total cost of ownership. Now, I'm not going to talk about the tools much today. What I really want to talk about is the methodologies. Um, and how specifically I go about, and many others go about creating software that respects those principles. Now the principles I'm referring to specifically are encapsulation and single responsibility. I believe if we, uh, if we successfully implement these principles, we will have achieved simple software because our classes will do one and only one thing. So they'll have less code in them, they will be easy to maintain, easy to extend, easy to find when we need to find them because they'll be logically organized. So how I go about doing that, and many others as well, is through inversion of control. Now, inversion of control is about a 20-year-old methodology. Um, it's somewhat weirdly named, but uh, what it really means is defining the system as the orchestration of its abstract dependencies. So we isolate the functional areas of the system, and then we uh, you know, uh, use interfaces to allow the uh, main module of a system to manipulate those dependencies. And there's lots of ways to go about doing that. The methodology I use, and, and I believe most people use, is called dependency injection. Now, dependency injection is where the, um, the context of, of, a, of an application, whether that be a test or an execution contest, such as a web page or a service, um, it constructs both the engine and the dependencies of that engine, and then pass those dependencies into the engine, and the engine then uses its business rules to do the work. Um, now, this engine itself is going to be fairly simple, because all it's doing is playing traffic, traffic cop. It's, um, you know, just has to say, you do this, you do this. It's these dependencies that we really need to focus on and make, to make sure that they stay simple. Now, there's a number of ways to do that, and I think this is where I diverge slightly from some of the mainstream, in that I use providers to do that. Now, a provider is just a facade in front of a functional library that implements an interface. So, in this, in this diagram, we have a, uh, a this is a, a tweet scheduler. It uh, sends um, s scheduled tweets to Twitter. Um, it gets those from the data provider in the center and sends them to the microblogging provider here on, on the right. And there's also a logging provider that gives some visibility into the system. Now, uh, you'll notice about this, uh, this microblogging provider, Twitter, the Twitter API here is an external dependency. But I've created a, uh, a, uh, a, an internal, a local library here to wrap that and I'll make it an in, a, a local dependency, which is on that interface. So now I can treat this like any other provider, any other dependency. Um, it's also, uh, I can swap it out if I want to, so I can change it out for a test provider, for example, or for a, say, a, a, a Twitter, another provider such as, say, Brightkite or Facebook. Um, and so, Here's an example of how that actually looks in, in real life. This is a test context. Um, this is the test for the engine that you saw in the previous slide. Now, most of this is just setting up those dependencies. So here down at the bottom is where the real work is happening. What's it's actually doing there is you can see there's three providers down there that is being passed in on the, um, on the constructor of the engine. And then the, um, the engine's process method is called. Now, in this scenario, I'm using uh, a mock framework to actually generate the, depend the dependencies on the fly from, a, uh, from the interface. So the mock framework, which is one of the tools I was referring to, um, allows us to do this, um, create these dependencies that don't actually touch the database or Twitter or what have you, and allows us to actually test this in a way that's very, very simple and easy to maintain. Um, and allows us to, because we're testing the software, it easy it's becomes easy to maintain as well. So this has been a very, very fast overview. Um, the key takeaways here, are that we're using providers to implement inversion of control um, and via dependency injection. And that gives us encapsulated software that respects single responsibility and uh, keeps our software simple and easy to maintain. Um, my contact information is at the bottom. I love talking about this stuff, so please feel free to contact me or talk to me afterwards. Uh, I'm happy to talk to you. Thank you very much.